Hi everyone, thank you for joining us today. In this video, we're going to be reacting to another of Bill Burr's comedy. This time he's talking about what separates him from Cyclops. <laughs> just the title alone is just funny. And if this is anything to go by in terms of what he's done before, I can only imagine that it's going to be super hilarious. All right, without any further ado, Let's go. Come on. Been in a uh, bad mood all day, man. Got in a fight with this girl the other day. You ever meet somebody like within like the first couple of minutes of them meeting you, they feel like they can like sum you up? Just like, you know what your problem is? <laughs> you know, you just have like the urge just to take their head and just mush it into whatever they're eating, you know? You ever have crazy thoughts like that? <laughs> Can you relate on any level? You never have like urges? You ever drive down the street and see like 30 people up on the sidewalk and you just think, No. Right? You don't do it, you just think it. That's what separates the psychos from the functioning psychos. <laughs> yeah, psychos, they just do it. Hey, all right, that's a good idea. <laughs> to get the wipers going, they make a day out of it, right? But a rational person, you, you like think it through. You start going, you man, if I just leave my hand right here, nobody knows who I am. I move it two degrees over here. I'm on the cover of Newsweek. I'm instantly famous. Right here, no one knows me. Like, hey, Bill, you wanna go to the cookout? Maybe you can bring that potato salad you brought last year, it was such a big hit. One of the most horrific scenes we've seen in years. <laughs> Bodies just strewn about. You know, Amy's gonna be there. She's still asking for you. You should ask her out. No indication he even tried to stop. <laughs> Seriously, you're getting older. Put your hands on the dashboard. Put them on the dashboard. <laughs> you have those on. <laughs> no, I have that stuff all the time. I do. My girl took me to a street fair recently, right? You guys have street fairs out here? You know, they close off the block, there's like shawarma, there's like stuff made out of buttons, right? People with no teeth are making keychains, right? Yeah. It's a typical girlfriend idea. It sucks and it's gonna take all Saturday, right? <laughs> She's all excited. She's like swinging my arm. Oh my God, this is gonna be great. I'm like praying for lightning. <laughs> Maybe some like scaffolding to fall down on me, you know? No, we show up, right? The first thing she sees is this big table and nothing but homemade jewelry, right? Homemade jewelry. It's got twigs, macaroni in it. It's just, it's a table of crap. It's crap. The whole thing is crap, but she loves it. She's like, oh my God, look at these earrings. Do you like these? Do you think these are nice? I just want to be like, no. If they were nice, they'd, they'd be in a store, all right? <laughs> There'd be a roof, some sort of structure would be built around this. <laughs> this is crap. This is just a table of crap. The guy's even wearing shoes. That's a good indication that this is crap. But I didn't want to ruin a day, so I'm like, yeah, go ahead, check it out. I'm going to go get some air. Even though we're outside, I think there's more air to be had, right? <laughs> so I walk like three, four tables away, and I come up to this lady. She got this big table of nothing but muffins. Muffins, right? It's like 85 degrees out. She's selling muffins and she's got this big stupid, ah, look at the muffins I made, look on her face. And the second I saw that, that part of my brain was just like, dude, what would happen if you just walked up and just said, hey lady, uh, these are your muffins? Oh yeah, and I just started going, blam, 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 blam. Like how many of these muffins could I mush before anybody did anything? I mean, realistically, I think I could have got the whole table. Because even if you saw me doing that, it would take at least five to six seconds to process. Like, did they say he could do that? Is, is it like a game? Do you eat the muffin off your fist? That just seems like a waste of pastry. You know, there's no security at a street fair. There's no bouncer staying there. He's mushing the muffins. Okay, I'm on it. Sir, we're going to have to ask you to leave. And they just choked me out. So I just started thinking of the horrified look on this lady's face as I started slamming these muffins. And out of nowhere, I just started laughing like a maniac. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm like slumped over this fried dough cart, I'm dying. 
My girl looks at me, she's like, what the hell are you laughing at? And like an idiot, I actually tried to explain <laughs> this screwed up thought to her. I swear to God, I'm just sitting there like, I was just thinking, what if I started punching the Muffets? <laughs> you know what I mean? I just started punching them. <laughs> she's just looking at me like, why do I go out with you? <laughs> Dude, but I swear to God, if I never broke eye contact the second I started hitting those muffins, that lady, she wouldn't even been able to call for help. I would have been in her head. She'd be like, did I go to high school with this guy? Why would you do that? Muffins are a happy food. I, I don't understand this. No, I got to learn to, uh, I got to learn to let stuff go. I do, I got issues. I do. My neighbor got her, uh, got her dog fixed. Got this dog neutered, brand new dog, puppy. Got the thing neutered, and I'm like, what the hell, what the hell did you do that for? She's like, well, you know, if I didn't do that, he was gonna hook up with another dog, then they're gonna make more dogs, and what are we gonna do with all these dogs? It's like, why don't you just let them go? They're animals, they'll be fine. I think that's what every city needs, just a nice pack of wild dogs just running down the street. Really? It help with the obesity problem. Just chase people to the cars after they eat <laughs> some big meal, you know? Just a nice pack of Rottweiler just running down the street. <laughs> Listen, I'm out of time. You guys were awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Have a good night. Thank you. Oh, my God. Oh, God, I'm a post. <laughs> <laughs> Man. No, <laughs> don't have those thoughts. <laughs> I think it's just you, mate. <laughs> yeah, but it's crazy, though, isn't it? Like when things like that happen, and somebody actually goes on, maybe like on a rampage in school or drive by people and stuff like that. One thing that does come to your mind is, but how and why would you do that? How did you think it was okay? You, you're really trying to like rack your brain, like how? It's, it's a crazy one. And <laughs> to make a joke out of that, it's, yeah, it's, it's genius. His, I've, I've I've watched a few of his stuff now, and he's just a genius when it comes to using his 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 comedy to create <laughs> create this sort of <laughs> crazy reality and stuff like that. It's it's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> All right, if. Let us know in the comment section below if you do have this sort of thoughts. Nobody's going to judge you in here. Not me anyway. I can't speak for everybody else. <laughs> all right. If you like what we're all about, please like, subscribe, and yeah, join our community. We react to comedies, and we've just recently started reacting to music as well uh, because I began to find some stuff that have been referred and pointed out by other people, quite interesting. Do leave your recommendation below and I'll try as much as I can to react as quickly as possible. Until next time, guys, it's been Kings. Yeah, and you make sure you look after yourselves. Peace. Bye for now. <laughs>